So one of the things that I grew up with while playing sports was that a ref never reverses his calls. Kind of an unwritten rule, no matter how bad the call was. And well, yeah, you can probably pick out a few usage cases of that not being the case. If you've ever been involved in any sport, you probably know that that's something you kind of have to live with. It's an unfortunate truth, but bad calls, then doubling down on it when any logic or reasoning is applied, it happens a lot. That's also coincidentally how Call of Duty has managed itself in years past. While we have eventually in the last couple of years gotten rid of some bad design decisions and such, we've seen time and time again that a decision would be made and then following massive backlash, that decision for whatever reason, whether it's objectively a good one or bad, it'll still stay. However, for the first time in recent memory, there's some great news for Black Ops 6. That bad ref or umpire that is Call of Duty? Yeah, they reversed a call and for the better. Today, we're taking a look at the good news for Black Ops 6 and the future updates that it leads to and what to expect. So drop your thoughts as we go along, drop a like if you enjoyed the video, and make sure to subscribe for more Black Ops 6 content to stay in the loop with not only just more updates like this, but also a ton of other guides, tutorials, and other things we still have up on deck that I think you guys will enjoy. We're now on that new road to 700,000 subscribers. Can't thank you guys enough for the support as of recently, but if you'd like to join us, I'd love to have you in the community. For now, let's get into it. So, to start and for context, let's talk about how we got here. Modern Warfare 3 introduced Carry Forward for the first time in COD history. People wondered if it would happen with Black Ops 6 for some items, obviously not all, but some items. One of the biggest ones that was the question mark and the logical assumption of items that could carry over were your XP tokens, since those were account things. They persisted through the COD HQ, through Warzone and everything as a sort of through line that were tethered to your account, not game. It was then announced a few weeks to a month or two before the launch that they would not transfer to Black Ops 6, but would transfer to Warzone, which was an odd thing to hear because, again, it was account specific, not game specific, nor a Warzone experience thing that then begged the question a lot of people had, would you be able to replicate that sharing effect like we had in Vanguard and Cold War with existing tokens? Or if for the first time in COD history, we'd have an artificial barrier put up where you could have Black Ops 6 earned tokens funnel into your Warzone total, but not vice versa. Well, Come season one, it didn't really seem like we'd have to worry about that because the update kind of added a stealth change where we did get all of those legacy XP tokens in Black Ops 6 in particular. Seemed always good, awesome. Everybody got hours and hours and hours of XP saved up if they didn't use it between Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3 until it wasn't good. Then, out of nowhere, they took it away as of yesterday. And it wasn't like it was a bug or anything that was an unintended change from an update. They made an actual point in the patch notes detailing the removal, saying, fixed an issue that incorrectly allowed legacy XP tokens to be activated in the Black Ops 6 UI. So naturally, everyone reacted in a, let's say, passionate manner because... Yeah, seemingly at first, it was kind of a harmful change to the ecosystem. It was a dumb change and something that was just like, honestly, just wrong to dangle the carrot in front of you and be like, nah, you don't get that. But what made it even weirder, and to me at least, made it an entirely pointless change was you could activate these tokens in Warzone, then go to Black Ops 6, and then have the effects applied entirely. Like, it didn't matter, they were still applying across your entire account, it just added an extra step. So, if they were connected, they were meant to be connected, why in the world would you just remove them from Black Ops 6's UI? If all it took was, again, one or two extra steps to get that same desired effect, it makes absolutely zero sense, in my opinion, to remove those. And that brings us to today. Following a ton of backlash, just about on every single tweet you'd see from COD updates, the official Call of Duty account, Treyarch, all that, it was all mentioning the XP tokens. Then, Treyarch Today tweeted, With the start of Season 1, a UI bug allowed players to activate legacy XP tokens in Black Ops 6. Unfortunately, it also introduced some potential risk to game stability, which is why it was patched yesterday. We realized how much players appreciate being able to redeem legacy XP tokens in both Black Ops 6 and Warzone, so we are currently testing a way to implement this change correctly in a future update. This allows us time to ensure stability is maintained before we reintroduce this feature. In the interim, players can activate any legacy XP tokens in Warzone. Any tokens applied in Warzone will also apply to Black Ops 6, should you switch titles or modes. We look forward to sharing more about this change next week. Thank you for your patience. So, there we have it. A unanimously bad decision, finally reversed. Man, that's a, that's a wild thing to think about when you think about bad decisions and Call of Duty. So, a couple of things here. First... Props to Treyarch for this decision and communication. I've preached it for years. The communication is perhaps the biggest key when it comes to a live service model for a game. And whether we like it or not, that's what we have with 
most games out there right now in the industry. It's not 2010 anymore where you can drop a DLC pack and then go back to working in the shadows and in silence on the next updates for months at a time. For better or for worse, that's just not how the industry works anymore. So being open, honest, and transparent with your audience is such an integral part to gaining their trust. And frankly, this was like the first massive misstep in my opinion. Like, sure, you can feel some type of way about the map design, omni-movement, gunplay, networking has been bad, yes. But when I look at this game, as someone who's been critical as the last couple of years big time and even started uploading variety content after 10 years of only uploading Call of Duty on this channel because I was so unhappy with some of the game decisions throughout Modern Warfare 2 and a little bit of Modern Warfare 3, I personally think this is the most content-rich game that we've had. A solid, lengthy campaign with plenty to do inside that campaign between upgrades, un locks and everything like that a multiplayer with plenty to grind out and a prestige system to grind through zombies with two maps easter eggs and other items 100 percenter and dark ops challenges for multiplayer zombies and warzone dark ops for campaign as well 100 percenter still up in the air on that one mastery camos that are an absolute grind across all three main modes this was the first big mistake to me after all of this kind of stuff was keeping me pretty happy and pretty busy with things to do. So with this being the first big misstep and thing that I'm like, no, that's not a good decision at all. For this to be rectified in the first 24 to 30 hours after it was made, I think speaks volumes to the level at which Treyarch invested this year. A full dev window, they seem to be proud of the content and the game that they put out, and they're standing firm on trying to do well by the community with this type of reversal of an update and transparency as to why that was the case. Now, honestly, I think that I'd love to, in the future, know what kind of stability issue this caused, or whether or not that's just the sort of scapegoat for giving a reason to otherwise where there wasn't one, but I'll take what I can get. Secondly, it sounds like this update may not be something we learn about until next week, as mentioned, but it might not be rolled out until like mid-season perhaps, or a little bit later on down the line, a couple of weeks from now at the least. So while it's not immediate, it is nice to know that it is coming. So if you want to save it for absolute use in Black Ops 6, you can. But thirdly, and finally, talking about how it can take a bit of time, the nice part is, again, you can use these in Warzone and then just transfer over to whatever you want to end up playing. The only downside that I can think of with this is that if you were going into like zombies or something and your XP tokens run out, you have to save and quit, then go back into Warzone, activate more, and then just go from there. Multiplayer, you have enough changeover that is probably, again, just going to be a minor inconvenience more than anything else. But to have it officially stated that this is a workaround here for that, it's, it's nice that if you don't want to save those tokens until later, you still can use them now. It's just again one or two extra steps to getting from point a to point b so it's nice that we finally see a again unanimously bad decision taken into account and then reversed because i feel like that just doesn't happen in call of duty anymore so if that's any indication for how this year will continue to go i'm here for it man but anyways that's where we're at just wanted to fill you guys in here keep an eye out because you will be getting these back at some point but as for when we don't have an eta just yet you can still use them again in warzone into black ops 6 so let me know your thoughts down below are you surprised they entirely reversed this decision are you happy about it whatever the case drop your thoughts before we wrap everything up make sure you check out my friends over at gamer advantage for what i firmly believe are the best blue light glasses on the market i've worked with these guys for nearly four years now which is crazy to consider but I think they're the most lightweight, comfortable, and durable frames on the market as far as I've used, and definitely think they've helped my daily productivity. Now, full transparency, they are a bit more investment, and they're probably going to have some holiday sales coming up here if you just want to bank this and put it in the back of your mind for later. But I think your vision's absolutely worth investing into, especially if you're like me and looking at a monitor, phone, or gaming for a good chunk of the day. Black Ops 6 Season 1 still has me playing quite a bit here so feeling that eye strain after every day but if you guys would like to learn more at the very least i'd recommend checking out their website where they can better break down the science and all the specifics way better than i could but what i can personally say is i'd highly recommend them so if you want to learn more check the link in the description below and if you'd like to pick something up for yourself use code espresso to get 10 percent off your entire order but for now that's gonna wrap it up let me know your thoughts down below drop a like if you guys enjoy the video and make sure to subscribe for more black ops 6 coverage i'd love to have in the community but for now thanks so much for watching Modest espresso i'll see you later Take care and peace.